I ain't no killer, but don't push me. I, once I take that step back, I look over my shoulder and Mr. Rosenbaum, Mr. Rosenbaum was now running from my right side. Um, and I was cornered <laughs> in front of me with Mr. Zeminski. And there were... <laughs> there were people right there. This... And you don't get no, you don't even get no Academy Award for this, because this is the fakest shit I ever heard. Oh God, I know y'all mad. That's what I. <laughs> That's what I <laughs> Uh, we're going to take a break, uh, about uh, 10 minutes, and please don't... Damn! Then he had the nerve to look at the judge. Like, <laughs> did I lay it all good enough? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. I don't even know what to say. As an elder states person, you know, I really, really hate to um, say disparaging words against young people, you know. But when you pissing on my leg and then try to tell me it's raining, I take offense with that. I always tell people, I don't mind nobody taking advantage of me because they think I'm, a, I'm kind. Because I am a kind person. Okay, but when you think I'm a fool, then that's when you have a problem. And I think, as far as my relationship with um, this society in general, I wish, as a human family, we could just wake up and see how these these entities just piss on us and tell us that it's raining and. Um, you got certain elements of society that, that that just won't call them out. That won't, like the mainstream news is just a propaganda arm for white supremacy. For, for this craziness. Whatever you want to call it, the machine that keeps people in a matrix. Let me tell you something. The fact that I don't believe in labels. Like this Democrat, Republican, Democrat, Republican. That's one of the things that I love about Pastor Ray Hagan and um, having the African village. Because one thing I remember about the African village, the concept, was leave all your religions at the door. Leave whatever you are Church of God in Christ, you Kojic, you Pentecostal, PAW, Lutheran, Catholic, Baptist. Leave all those titles, Democrat, Republican, Independent, Progress, leave all that crazy shit at the door. And let's meet, let's have a meeting. I want to be at the meeting. Ah, I want to be, y'all remember that? I want to be at the meeting without a bunch of individuals with titles. That would make them feel better than, less than. Um, I, I, I think that that is a mindset that was socially engineered into us. Okay? So there are some of us in the human family that just cannot tolerate that kind of madness. I, for one was very offended by Kyle Rittenhouse's testimony. And I know he's going to probably um, get off because the thing is, did he shoot in self-defense? I mean, come on, I, we already know this. But the fact that they give you these word salads, it's not going to matter that he came across the interstate 
and he's a minor with a gun. All that shit don't matter because we we want to compartmentalize. See, this is the madness of the uh, white pathology, okay, or uh, the supremacist pathology. Because as you notice, nobody holds them accountable. They get to sit in the position and judge everybody. Who? Even they self. But because everybody know we all have different cultures, different mores, different thoughts, different patterns, um, different cultural norms, it doesn't mean one is better than the other. It doesn't mean one is right and one is wrong. But there is no balance because the white man get to make all the damn decisions and the rules and he's too corrupt. He can't be in no position of leadership no more. Period. He shouldn't have been in it in the first place. But who am I to go against the universe? Okay? The, 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 the European with his uh, violent tendencies and um, bloodthirsty ways to take over the world ended up putting himself in a position where he runs everything. And a lot of y'all think that's progress. And look how, and it shows that your greatness. It doesn't. It, it, in my opinion, it doesn't at all. What it shows me is that at one time in history, people lived in harmony. The Chinese man knew all about gunpowder. They were making um, fireworks long before the European had a history right here in the Americas. The African was bending steel. Blacksmith bending the steel, doing the things centuries and thousands of years before the white man got together and decided to put the steel with the gunpowder and make the gun and begin to control all of humanity with that barbaric ideology. That's the real... Um, complicated yet very um, gist of the whole thing. So when I listen to Kyle Rittenhouse and I'm looking at him looking at the judge as he's crying because he knows his judge uh, has sympathy for him. Empathy. Just like America has empathy for the uh, uh, um, Steve Bannon and the people that have been given uh, subpoenas and they pissing on him and laughing on it. This kind of stuff is to let you know how much in decline we are in as a society. Where people are just dissing and pissing on the laws. Who are the real democratic people? If you want to talk about democracy, who are the real people who love democracy? Who are willing to die in the streets for it when they make mockery out of it? Again, is the old ship, the old dog, the Adolf. We're trying to preserve something that they don't even care for. That's why he said, um, we can have a democracy as long as we can keep it. Because the nature of the white man is not to want to live in peace. You know, he wanted his his nature is to power and control people. You know, and I know that that's part of the dynamic in every male. A male likes power. He wants to dominate. Okay, we get it. But when you get to the point where your callousness and your, and, and, and your greed and your thirst for blood and money is so damn prevalent. That you don't see nothing else, then it becomes there are none so blind as those who refuse to see. That's what it becomes at that point. So I'm saying all this to bring it back that you know they're gonna give this guy ten minutes to take a break. Um, and I'm hoping it's not a mistrial because of what the um a, a prosecutor did. This judge already don't like him. He's already looking for something to um, hold against anybody that want to see um, harm come to this young man.
and we so messed up, we still got George Zimmerman walking around here. I say, people, I'm not going to stay on long. How long are we going to let people piss on us and tell us it's raining? Please leave your comments below and I will see you in the next video.